Yo, what's up guys, what's going on? Y'all see the title, is it the truth? Is it really real? Honestly, no, because honestly guys, anime and manga chat reviews aren't going anywhere. There's always going to be people that are looking for, uh, people that want to see a review or afterthoughts of, you know, of the, their favorite chapter or a chapter they just read or an anime that they just uh, saw an episode of or an entire anime season. So of course, reviews aren't going anywhere. But, there has been a sleeping giant, guys. And it's a sleeping giant that I ran into. Live reactions. Guys, you probably haven't really noticed or some of you guys probably have noticed that live reactions are starting to really, really, really blow up. They're starting to gain a lot of momentum. I meant to make this video a lot earlier, but I decided to hold back on it and stuff, but now I'm gonna go ahead and put it out there so that everyone can really kind of hear my perspective on this matter. Yes! Guys, live reactions is something that I went ahead and kind of just ran into, you know what I'm saying? I didn't really see it as a viable thing. I kind of saw it as something whereas, okay, I could understand if you do a live reaction to like a certain episode that was exciting or whatever, but no, live reactions have gotten to a point where people want to see you react to every single episode or even do a live reading to every single manga chapter. And it's because people want to people want to share that experience with other people they want to see how you react to the same thing that they read or the same thing that they watched and honestly if you think about it it's completely understandable now there's some people that don't understand live reactions and they don't think that it's really creative or anything like that honestly for the most part if you just think about a live reaction honestly it isn't creative it really isn't sorry to say it just has it it just is what it is but at the same time, there are people such as myself that go ahead and put creativity in their live reactions, which happens to draw a lot more people in, whether it's using your wit, your charisma, you know what I'm saying, uh, being funny, whatever the case may be, or just engaging the audience in a unique way while you're doing your reaction. Live reactions is something, like I said, I never really thought of it as something that I could really do on my channel. And you guys know, a lot of you guys, it's been here for a long time. I've never even considered myself a reviewer at all, whatsoever. Never really did, you know? I know I have reviewer on my channel, on my, on my banner, but it's because I thought it, there's really no other word I could put there to kind of fit what I was kind of doing for my afterthoughts, you know? Because I don't really review anything, and I've said this plenty of times before. I really don't. I just kind of give my thoughts and, you know, and what I think is going on and stuff like that. You know, I do go ahead and tell you what I don't like or what I did like from time to time, but overall, I'm not really a reviewer you know I like to just share my experience with you guys it's been that way ever since I've been doing my one piece arc impressions guys which is how I gradually got into doing reviews and live reactions but I stumbled upon doing live reactions when I did uh, my attack on Titan uh, live reactions because I was doing reviews and reactions and people were like yo man you gotta do before I was doing reactions of attack on Titan like yo man it'd be cool you should do a live reaction in the next episode of Attack on Titan. Like, okay, so I did, and people fucking loved it. I mean, loved it, floored them. So people were like, "Yo, man, you gotta keep doing this. I keep doing this." And then from then on, it kind of became a trend um, with my channel. And even after Attack on Titan got done, I didn't really continue to to con to do live reactions right away. But eventually, I started doing them because I saw that people really wanted them. You know, and I thought they were fun, you know what I'm saying? And I can knock out the video all at once. So I was like, okay, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and do this, but I'm going to do it my own way. I don't want to just sit in front of the camera, do my thing. People that do that, that's fine. But me, I wanted to go ahead and put my my energy into it, my charisma, my wit, my, you know what I'm saying, just, just my own kind of brand into it. And everybody has their own brand uh, throughout their channel overall, but also with their reactions you know and what I've been seeing lately is that even people that are doing uh, reviews whether it's episode reviews or chapter reviews are starting to do reactions as well 
You know what I'm saying? And that right there shows you that reactions are like the new kid on the block. Now, when I say the new kid on the block, man, I'm not trying to go ahead and say that it's brand new. It's something that just started. No, live reactions have been around for a long time. They really have. But in the anime community, they're just now really starting to take foot you know what i'm saying they're really starting to, to to really pick up pace and pick up motion to the point that now when you want to go ahead and be a part of the community be a part of youtube it's not oh i want to be an anime and manga reviewer no it's not that no more it's a hey, do i want to be a live reactioner do i want to do live reactions of anime and manga or do i want to be a anime and manga reviewer you know what I'm saying? But but a lot of times, if you're a reactioner, you're also a reviewer. Because there's a lot of times people people really want to see and know your thoughts after the reaction and stuff. That's what I come to find. You know, even when I go ahead and don't put a, uh, after thoughts or reactions, after, uh, after thoughts or review, after my reaction, people are wondering where it's at. You know, that goes to show you that reviews, definitely, like I said, they're here to stay. But reactions are definitely something that people want in high demand i even remember uh it was about a year and a half probably a, li a little bit more than a year a half year and a half ago or so uh this guy came to my channel and he was like man like your videos are awesome i love your videos your reactions are dope your music is dope all this stuff he was like man but i'm telling you this right now uh reviews are dying slowly like they're dwindling away reactions are the new thing live reactions are the new thing and then when he told me that i didn't really take hold of it i didn't it was just a random person i didn't really take hold of it i didn't really agree with it because at the time like i said i thought live reactions were just kind of like uh, you know whatever you know you do it for an episode here or there that's, that's exciting but then as I started doing it for every episode, and I'm seeing the impact that is happening on my channel, and how many people are coming watching and commenting and liking and just enjoying uh, me uh, as a person, giving my two cents in, whether it's being funny or being critical or whatever the case may be, you know, I saw that what he was saying is the truth, and it's really uh, taken, uh, really has taken fruit in my channel and stuff. And you could see it within other people's channels as well. You know, they were doing different things, but once they started doing reactions, you know, they're they're starting to grow a lot faster and, and everything because reactions is unique in a way. You know, it's probably not uh, extensively creative, just like reviews aren't really creative like talking about, but they are unique. And the reason why they're unique is because with each individual person, from me to the next person to the next person, everybody is going to have a different reaction to different scenes and different things that are going on, whether it's a manga or an anime episode. Their, their, their take on it is gonna be completely different. And people enjoy watching that and seeing what's going on and seeing how their favorite YouTuber or maybe it might, it might not even be their favorite YouTuber, just seeing how several people react to what's going on, you know, or going on in the story that they love reading or they love watching, you know? And it, it took me a while to come to terms with that. And now, you know, I, I fully understand it and I fully get it. And, you know, Live Reactions does have its drawbacks. And the main drawback is the battle with copyright. But once you can kind of understand copyright and understand what you should do and what you shouldn't do and you can kind of maintain it and keep a level head about it you can keep you can keep it going for a while now can you now the thing is is that i do have future plans for my reactions and stuff with how i may cha may change them up and everything just so i can go ahead and completely add here to all the copyright issues and stuff like that but right now i feel like i'm doing the best that i can giving people the best quality that i can um in the best way that i can so that i can go ahead and grow a great um viewer base while giving them the best quality possible you know and it's cool you know, it's definitely dope. But that's what this video is basically about, guys. It's about chat reviews and how they're always gonna have a place for people. You know, uh, for people to come in, check out what other people thought and reviewed of a uh, certain chapter of a anime or manga. But also the rise of really live reactions in this community. You know, because 
now they're running rampant i see a lot of people doing them i even see a lot of people that are, who are only doing reviews starting to do them here and there and stuff so it is what it is but guys the last thing that i do want to go ahead and cover is what some of these naysayers say about live reactions okay now they want to go ahead and say oh it's nothing creative and stuff like that but here's the thing these same exact people that go ahead and say shit and, and a lot of these people are youtubers you know what I'm saying they're youtubers they go ahead and say shit about uh, live reactions they're the same people that do let's plays of video games and gameplay commentaries and shit these are the same people that watch other people's let's plays and commentaries of gameplay and shit like that think about that for a second you know how hypocritical as fuck you are you know what I'm saying because it's the same fucking thing you're watching someone else enjoy entertainment so that you can enjoy it with them okay that's all it is and if you are a youtuber doing let's plays you're creating a, a let's play so you're playing the entertainment just like I'll be watching my entertainment to share your experience with other people it doesn't matter if you're trying to teach people something nothing like that no that doesn't matter the point is is that that is what you're doing you are playing something you are showing what you are doing on screen whether you're watching it or you're playing it so that you can share your experience whether it's through uh, being taught something or through experience experiencing something or being shown something so that you can share the experience together it just is what it is so like i said man just go sit in the fucking corner it just is what it is if you got anything negative to say about it that's all i'm saying because like i said i've grown to really appreciate it and it was something that i didn't really kind of get with at first but now i get it i got it and guess what it's good it just is what it is and it's been like that for a while you know but anyways guys that's pretty much it let me know what you thought about, uh, what you think about this in the comment section. Do you really enjoy live reactions? Do you enjoy live reactions more than you enjoy reviews? Or do you still like your reviews and your live reactions the same? Or are you somebody that wishes that people would put like highlights of reactions and and then do reviews or something like that you know what I'm saying let me know give me your thoughts on this go ahead and weigh in down below just says what it is all right guys i'm shampoo this is anime central and i'll holler at y'all next time and as always thanks for watching peace <laughs>